Do you cycle through Alpha and Luma every time you use a track mat? No. Today we are going to be talking about Alpha mats and Luma mats. This always confused me when I was just getting into After Effects, which one to pick. I'd used to cycle through every single one of them. So I just wanted to show you uh, what I have figured out since that time. So since we're in sports here, I have a really nice picture of a horse uh, and a nice jockey you'll see here in a second. So if I right click, transform, fit the comp width, I know it'll fill, fill my 16 by nine screen here. So next thing I'm gonna do is go up here and create a shape. Click and drag, hold command and shift, and it's gonna it's gonna create a perfect circle here for me. Let go. And I'm gonna duplicate this and change it to yellow. Put it over our little jockey there. So uh, hit enter here to rename this. Should rename all your layers. Should have been more descriptive here too. And if you command up, that'll and down, that'll help you toggle between. All right. So now that those are named, set up the horse here and show you what the difference is. So the white circle is going to be the Luma. The yellow one is going to be the Alpha. So if I do alpha, you see him. If I go down to the horse and I do luma, so now you just have two circles. So the primary difference here is alpha, it's based on the opacity. And that can be anything. That could be a photo, that could be a shape layer. And then luma is based on exposure, black and white, lum the luminance value of the shape or the graphic. If you're wondering, luma can be alpha too. Um, the biggest difference here, if I hit, if I hit UU, that's going to be all the elements that have been changed within here. So I can click on my white here. If I start to drag this, the luminance down, the luminance is going to run north and south here, also known as the brightness. You'll see this number start to go down. You're going to see this start to fade out. So you can control it that way. In order for alpha to be used in that way, I have to, I hit T here to get opacity. It's a shortcut, and I'd have to take down the picture there on the opacity um, to get it to act the same way. And luminance a lot of the time is used for compositing, especially when you're going back and forth between Cinema 4D and After Effects. Um, so a lot of the times. I use alpha for the most part, and I can show you a couple of examples here. So let's just create something that's a little bit more practical. Uh, rectangle tool. When I create mats, I really like to use the color red because it stands out um, down here. So click and hold. Just make this a nice long text bar here. All right. So I'm just going to hit enter and capitalize this and call it mat. Click on this and change it to red. So that way I know my mat is red. Then we can create some text. There we go. And take this up to 300. Sure. All right, so that fills the box there pretty well. All right, so how do you use this? You wanna make sure that you wanna have the mat on top of the text. So basically what I'm gonna do is say, all I want the text to show up is when, it, when it's within that red box. So if I go here, say text, take this, turn off that. That was a really poor choice of color, wasn't it? There go. So now if I move the text up and down, it's going to disappear when it's not within that map because you're saying only show up when there are opaque pixels or 100% opacity pixels uh, on screen. So I can take this down, set a position keyframe. So take that 
up to where we want to see it. Or you could pass it through the other side. Hey, that's a nice little animation. Cool. So let's take this one step further. And if we were to go back to our horse, horse photo here, when we drag this mat down below the yellow circle, it is now going to take the place and be the alpha mat. So now you see that red mat that we created up top for the text to work here uh, for the photo as well. So you have a couple options. You can either take this mat and animate that. You can take the picture and animate that. Obviously, it only, only goes as far as the picture size. Or you can do them together. And maybe change the rate with which they all they both move. So if that's the ending spot, set your keyframes, move them out. Maybe the horse just moves a little bit and the mat moves a lot. There's a little bit of extra motion there. Feels a little bit better that way. In addition to this, you could you can easy ease these and get into get into the graph editor here, but that's a whole other uh, tutorial to get into. But it, hopefully at least this gets you started on understanding the different times to use which mat uh, when it comes to Alpha and Luma. And you can start playing around with uh, some different, different elements and add some extra spice to your content.